What's going on YouTube Miguel here and sitting right behind me is my my pride and joy my baby the reason my neighbors hate me it's my 2016 Mustang GT premium so like I said I bought this car to replace my 1998 Mustang a long time ago I told myself that by the time I was 21 I was gonna have this car and this is how the story of how the kid who didn't really know what he was doing ended up with this car smash that like button and let's roll the intro so my story begins on new year's eve new year's day really long time ago i was you know hanging out with a couple friends at their house you know just taking in the new year and at that point i have had the 1998 for a while now and like i said kept breaking down and to spend more time in a shop than you know actually on the road that night i made myself a promise i set one goal for myself for that year and it was by the time i turned 21 I was gonna have this car. My birthday's in August. I had eight months to figure out how I was gonna get a new Mustang. And I'm not gonna lie, it didn't really work out at first. And going into it, I knew I wanted an S550 Mustang. After doing some research, I narrowed it down to obviously 50 GT. It's not really a muscle car, but it doesn't have a V8 in it. That's just me though. So I kept looking around and then I realized how much nicer the premiums were if you just the base model Mustang. So I knew I had to have the GT and a premium. Fast forward through all that. Before I actually ended up with this car, I was actually looking at a blue California special. I was actually on my way to the dealership to go check it out and then possibly buy it. But I got a call from the sales guy. He's like, hey, we just sold that car this morning. And then he had the audacity to tell me, oh, I got a, I got a Charger and a couple Camaros you might want to look at. Bro, I don't want a boat. I don't want a Camaro. I wanted a Mustang, so turned around, went back home. You know, fast forward a couple months later, August rolled around, still didn't have the car. A dream, it wasn't really dreaming. So finally, I was scrolling online one day and I came across this thing right here. Literally in the span of two weeks, not even two weeks, like maybe a week, I went over to the dealership, I checked it out, it looked amazing. All the numbers came out right, it was around the price range I wanted. So the way I ended up with this thing is I told myself, I was gonna get it. I told everybody else I was gonna get it. You know, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people laughed at me, a lot of people doubted me. Haters are my motivators. So I wanted to prove a point, not only to myself, but I wanted to prove a point to them. I wanted to prove that I can do this. Cause so many people told me, oh, you're never gonna get that car. It's like, oh, you can't afford that. You can't this, you can't that. It's right here. I've had it for a while now, it's not going anywhere. Boom, where the haters at now? I don't know. I told everybody I was gonna get it. I told myself I was gonna get it. And I didn't wanna be a liar. So I knew I had to go do it. And honestly, it's, it's really that easy. All you gotta do is just tell yourself you're gonna go do something and then actually go do it. I basically spoke this car into existence. You know, this is exactly how I wanted my car. Everything that's on it, everything that's done to it, this is exactly how I wanted it. Now, speaking of what's on the car, Let's talk about it. All right, so let's actually go over the car, what's on it and what's done to it. So this is my 2016 Mustang GT Premium in shadow black. We're gonna start from the front and then work our way back. So over on the front, you guys have probably already noticed those two little lights right there on the grill. Those are not stock. Those are aftermarket, just like pretty much everything else on this car. Those are gonna be the RTR lights. So I knew a guy who had like a, a gray 2015, I wanna say, and he also had the RTR lights on his. Ever since I saw those lights on his car, I knew I had to have them online so a couple years ago i went out and bought them shout out jameson and abby for helping me real quick this is a better look at the rtr lights and like i said this thing is shadow black and it just it blends in at night and honestly those rtr lights they really do help me see better at night my windshield is tinted and then i got five percent all the way around my headlights are tinted so the visibility on this is not that good that's another reason why i got those other than the rtr lights there's really not much to the front end all right moving over to the side so the wheel and tire setup i have right now that's actually the wheel and tire setup that comes with the premium packs it has a 255 wheel in the front 275 in the back it is a staggered set and like i said that does come from the factory on these things if you get the premium pack so another thing you guys might have probably already noticed by now is the fitment on my car so honestly i think this is the most perfect fitment or as close to perfect as you can get if you look at it from the side too you can see there is a little bit of camber honestly i'm not a fan of camber at least not when you go like all crazy but my front tires they do have just a 
slight bit and it's it's enough to be noticeable but it's also enough to not be noticeable and honestly if you're going to do camber this is what you should shoot for and then as far as the fitment on the back no my back tires do not touch my fender just barely fit a finger in there this fitment is is damn near perfect honestly all right so another thing i forgot to mention on the premium packs you do also get the big brake kit these are in fact brembos they don't actually say brembos but i promise you they're brembos you know with these you got to be careful they got a good zero to 60 but you also need a good 60 to zero all right moving over to the rear of the car like i said all my lights were tinted including my tail lights and the side markers i just feel like it gives it more of a uniform look you know block on block it looks amazing i'm never going to get tired of saying that so one thing you guys have probably noticed it's one of the first things everybody notices on my car is this big ass table i call a spoiler back here so this is going to be the type at pedestal style spoiler from anderson composites all right let me give you guys a better look so i went with the type at because everybody goes with either the stock spoiler on these things or they get the gt350 style spoiler i didn't want to be basic so i switched it up a little bit yes this right here is real carbon fiber. All right, so the last thing on the back, my first mod, first thing I ever threw on this thing was the new license plate frame. Yeah, I know it's kind of stupid, but there's this other car I follow on Instagram that had the exact same plate. I thought it was funny, so I decided to get it, and here we are. All right, let's talk about this interior real quick. So like I said, this is a GT Premium, so you're gonna have a way nicer interior than your base model Mustangs. Black on black on the outside, black on black on the inside. The only way you're gonna get leather seats is if you go with the GT Premium and you know, I knew it kinda had to. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, this is a manual. Funny story, I didn't actually know how to drive a manual before I got this car. I went up to the dealership to go pick this up and I had no idea how to drive a manual. I kinda just figured it out on the way home and yeah, it was, it was pretty rough. I say if you're gonna buy a manual, just go do it. If I can learn how to drive this thing, then you guys should be able to so another thing on this interior that is different from the base model so you guys can see the lighting on the gauges as well as you know ambient lighting on the floor my door handles and then my cup holders that's one of the main reasons i bought this thing i just it looks amazing especially at night all right so real quick this is a better view of what this car looks like at night uh, we got the ambient lights going door sill lights up too you also got pony puddle lights on both sides it's one of my absolute favorite things on this car you can change the color to whatever you want it to be honestly i keep it purple for the ladies another thing on the premiums that you don't get on the base models is this touch screen right here one of the reasons why i didn't get a base model is because they had this little like little tiny screen it's not touch screen or anything another thing i love is down here you got these toggle switches these are super fun these make me feel like i'm in a fighter jet this one doesn't really matter that's emergency lights traction control careful with that one steering wheel feel and then this one right here this was my favorite so that one is actually going to change your drive mode you got normal you got sport plus track mode one of my favorites and then snow slash wet which i don't really use all that often in texas and now that we talked about the interior let's talk about what you guys have been waiting for let's talk about the engine bay all right so before we get into my engine bay i just want to preface this by saying yes i know my engine bay is absolutely filthy it looks disgusting but this is my daily okay i drive this every single day so obviously it's going to be a little bit dirty so what you're looking at right here is ford's second generation of the coyote engine these things right here put out a respectable 435 horsepower stock honestly that's more than enough to have a little bit of fun with these and then maybe get into a little bit of trouble personally i like to go big or go home all right so first things first first mod most people do to their cars whenever they get you know something fast is a cold air intake from air raid and yes i do have a little throttle body spacer just so it actually you know hooks up to the engine moving on from there we're gonna have to take a little peek right here all right so i don't know how well you can see that but those those right there those are not your stock headers like i said go big or go home i went big i went with cooks one and seven eighths inch long tube headers this thing is catless yes it's really loud after the headers i can't really show you guys but they hook up to corsa's double helix x pipe of course is since i have the double helix x pipe i had to go with the corsa extreme catback exhaust with the quad tips so yeah like i said quad exhaust course is right there like i said this thing is loud as hell All right, 
so my car is essentially full bolt on except for the intake manifold i still have the stock one honestly the only other thing i could maybe do to this car is get the gt350 intake manifold i could do that but my goal for the future is to eventually just slap on a supercharger on here so if i did that there would be really no point of swapping out the intake i mean that's probably still a long ways away but who knows maybe in the future and then the only other thing of note here my car is tuned so if you're gonna do all this stuff to your car you kind of gotta get a tune to you know just put it all together all right so i was editing the vlog and i realized i didn't do a pull for you guys so i'm at the gas station right now we're just filling up and then after that we're gonna send it oh look how convenient we just made it to mexico and we have an open stretch of road wow Alright, so we talked about how I got the car, we talked about what's on the car. Let's talk about the boring stuff that not many people want to talk about, and that's, you know, financing one of these things. So, you know, first things first, I think it was Jay-Z who said it, if you can't afford to buy twice, you can't afford it at all. You know, whenever you're buying one of these, if you're buying cash, you got nothing to worry about, you probably got it like that, but if you're financing like I did, you know, you're in this for the long haul, you're in it for at least four, five years. Anything more than that, I don't recommend. Speaking of money, you guys won't believe me when I tell you how much I paid for this thing. You know, I'm not gonna talk about, you know, monthly payments and my APR and all that, but we're all going to talk about the, the sticker price on this thing. I'm not gonna lie, I did buy this used. I used to work at a couple dealerships here and there. I honestly, I recommend buying used unless, unless you can afford to buy brand new, unless you wanna be the first owner of that vehicle or whatever. I strongly recommend buying used. Sticker price for this thing, I paid a dollar for every single mile that was on this thing when i got this car it had about twenty-eight thousand miles and yes i got it for about twenty-eight thousand. Twenty-eight thousand dollars for a 2016 mustang with twenty-eight thousand miles i say that's a great deal especially right now with like the car market going crazy all right so honestly if i were to turn around and go sell this car tomorrow i could probably get anywhere from like 30 maybe thirty-five thousand dollars for this so there's a lot of stuff that goes into buying a car a lot of which i didn't really know back then so you not only want to negotiate your sticker price but you can negotiate you know your monthly payment and your apr which is your interest rate if the car doesn't have everything you want on it if it's not the color you want if the sticker price isn't right the monthly payments interest rate if even one thing is off that's a no-go like you want to be smart about this this is a big purchase like for most people this is going to be the second biggest purchase you're ever going to make in your life other than like buying a house don't be out here like these more part guys with like 32 percent apr on their boats last thing before i go if you want to go out and buy your dream car i say just go out and do it all those people telling you hey it's a bad idea you can't afford it you can't this you can't that some of them do have a point but at the same time no one knows what's best for you other than yourself if you want to go out and do something just go do it it's literally that easy tell yourself you're gonna go do it and then go make it happen i literally told myself one day hey i'm gonna have this car i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it and here we are if i'm being honest whenever i started looking for this car i had no credit i didn't know the first thing about buying a car but i somehow figured it out i didn't know how to drive a manual i told myself i was gonna do it i figured it out on the way home two or three days of practice I got it down. If you wanna go out and buy your dream car, just go do it. If you wanna buy a manual, just go do it. With that being said, my camera's about to die. I'm gonna cut this video short right here. If you guys want more Mustang content, more S550, more 98 GT content, make sure you guys subscribe. Drop a like. I know my car is dirty. I didn't have time to wash it. It rained two days ago. It's gonna rain all week. Don't comment about that. Drop a like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And we'll be back next Monday for another video. With that being said, I'm out.